Should marijuana be legalized for recreational use in New York? I don't think so. But I think if it's not, well, the thing is, is if it is, then they're going to come up with a whole bunch of rules that people are going to try to get around anyways, and they're going to overtax it. But they should, they'll probably need to have like rules that apply with tobacco because there's still going to be people who aren't going to want to be around it. So if people are going to be able to use it recreationally, there should be a time and place so that people who don't want to be susceptible uh, around it are able to maintain that. Uh, in my opinion, yes, it should, since people are already using it. So why not just legalize it? So then, I mean, they can still restrict people using it, but people who want it can still get it without having to break laws. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, it's never really killed anyone, but then again, I guess a lot of people probably wouldn't like people using it all the time around them. Yes. Okay. No. Uh, should marijuana be taxed and regulated like alcohol and cigarettes in New York State? It's going to have to be regulated in some fashion if they're going to put an age limit on it. But, you know, they're going to take advantage of it if they're regulating it. Yes, I think it should. Uh, if legalized, uh, yes, because it has, like, some negative effects, I guess, like alcohol does, and that's tax, so I guess even it out. Yes, I believe that it should. I'm kind of undecided on that, but I would lean towards yes. Okay. Um, if legalized, what should the age requirement be for marijuana use? I'm going to go with 18, because then you should be able to, if you can vote, then you should be responsible enough to have recreational use with marijuana. Um, I'm going to say 18. Yep, just because that way they're getting out of high school, but um, they're uh, still, they can vote and everything, so they're going into adulthood, so I mean they can make their own decisions. Um, I don't know, like 35? Um, I believe 18. Um, it should be, I guess, the same as smoking cigarettes. 21. Because that's when we're allowed to purchase alcohol and drink, so I don't see why that's any different. If not made legal for recreational use, should the current law allowing medical marijuana use stay in place? Yes. Uh, the use of medical marijuana should have no bearing on whether or not it's also made available for recreation. There are benefits to it. It helps people out. If it's found to not have all the side effects of all the other drugs out there, there's no po point in getting rid of it. Yes, I think it should because there are people that need it. Yes. Yes, because it helps people who are really sick. Um, they shouldn't be affected if... I guess people want to do it for recreational reasons. Oh, yeah, for people with medical reasons, yeah. And uh, the final question is, if it becomes legal and taxed like alcohol and tobacco, what should the money be used for? I have no clue. Like, they don't, because there's not major uh, problems or side effects from marijuana use i have no clue what it would go towards a uh, ping pong table um i'm going to say it should go towards helping people in different communities such as the homeless or going towards money for schools or even for infrastructure in the community such as roads and stuff um to get america out of debt um i personally believe maybe schools or like inner city students who need supplies and different things to help them succeed in education. I think it should go towards the troops, to cancer research, to homeless shelters, just anything it could really help with.